At 3.30, we got our last 3.30 game, guys. we got number 17, Illinois, which is 6-1, traveling to Nebraska, who's 3-4. and four. Illinois favored by 7.5 on ABC. And I did not think I was going to be talking about Illinois-Nebraska being on ABC in the middle of the year at 3.30, but here we are. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, a universe where Illinois is one of, let's see, four for the Big Ten, four for the ACC, 12, uh, four for the SEC, so that's 12, two for the Big 12, that's 14, three for the Pac-12, that. So, Illinois is one of 17 playoff-eligible football teams, ladies and gentlemen. The Fighting Illini. The Fighting Illini are one of the playoff-eligible teams I am talking about. And, like, almost, we're on the bottom third of the year. And the Fighting Illini are still alive. You just got to give props to Brett Bielema for turning around a program like that. We're talking about a Fighting Illini program that wasn't even close to bowl games he takes it over and in a year and at in a year he has this team not only leading his side of the big 10 but in a good in a shot for a playoff if they win out and then obviously they'd have to take on either ohio state michigan or penn state in the big 10 championship again and you know, that's gonna be a test but Illinois has a shot here, guys. Uh, Tommy DeVito for Illinois has gone 138 to 196, thrown for 1,415 yards, 10 touchdowns, two interceptions. Chase Brown has had 192 carries for 1,059 yards and a touchdown, four touchdowns. Pat, <coughs> Pat Bryan has had 25 catches for 371 yards and two touchdowns. Casey Thompson has gone 134 to 209, thrown for 1,851 yards, 11 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Anthony Grant has had 144 carries. For 682 yards and six touchdowns, and Trey Palmer has had 47 catches for 781 yards and five touchdowns. Nebraska leads the series all time, 13 to five. Last game, two games have gone to Illinois though in 2020 and 2021. Last Nebraska win at home was in 2018 though. Um, so I think what's going to be really fascinating with this football game is as much as everyone is hating on Nebraska, right? They they obviously fired their head coach really early. They were a bad football team. Nebraska is again third place on the side of the Big Ten. That's not super far out of it. Um, they're only a game back against Illinois. This is their chance to make that game back, right? Make it a three-team race between Illinois, Purdue, and Nebraska. Now, if Nebraska loses this game, they've really knocked out, right? They would lose a tiebreaker to Illinois. They're two games back all of a sudden. That's a tough one. But Nebraska holds their own fate in their hands. I still believe they have to play Purdue. I still believe they get to play Purdue. I mean, Nebraska holds their path to the Big Ten championship game in their hands, despite being a losing football team. They are have a losing record. They are third place in the Big Ten West. Um, they have a chance here. I mean, they're they're only seven and a half point dogs for a reason. They haven't been playing poorly as of late. Um, I think this game actually has the possibility of being somewhat close. The Fighting Illini are good. Don't get me wrong. This is a good football team that takes care of the football. But they don't score a whole lot. I mean, Chase Brown has leads a slow, steady offense down the field, and there is a lot of bright sides to that. But Nebraska is a quick strike offense with Casey Thompson. I think this game's actually close. Give me Illinois to win, but Nebraska to cover the seven and a half point spread.